Photoshop CS6 Extended is a breakthrough release in terms of usability and fun UI for 3D workflows. It's easier than ever now to be able to start with a type layer, a path, mask, or selection and extrude it to real 3D geometry. Let me show you a simple example starting from a type layer. Here I have a composite. It's composed of several type layers, as well as vector layers and a background layer. I also have my 3D object here. And you can see that it's integrated into the composite. Let's go ahead and strip this down, though, and start from a generic type layer. Here I have my type layer, and if I want to simply extrude this to real 3D geometry, go ahead and invoke that from the menu. And you can see I have my 3D object. Again, with my simple single move tool, I can click on the background and move the camera, or click on the mesh to move the mesh, or click on the lights or the cameras, etc. It's a single tool that allows you to move the different objects in your scene. Now, if I want to change any properties of this type, I can use my character paragraph panels. I can change the color of my type right here. I can change the font size. Again, any re-editing that I want to do to my type layer, I can do directly from my character and paragraph panels of my type tool. Now, if I want to manipulate the geometry of this, the extrusions of this, I can simply invoke this from the Properties panel. And with the on-screen widget, I can start to play around with the different geometry. I can go ahead and add twists, bevels, tapers, extrusions, etc., all directly on canvas and in context. But for, for this particular project, let's go ahead and set this back to the default setting. Now, if I want to add a material onto the front face of this geometry, I simply select this and go ahead and select it again to get the materials panel. And I'll load that texture. And I can do the same thing for my extrusions. And for my layers panel, let's go ahead and you can start to see how my composite is starting to look like the final piece that I'm looking for. So that just gives you a little taste of how much easier and fun it is to create and edit real 3D geometry directly in Photoshop CS6 Extended.